Hey everyone, it's Danielle again from Cool Science Experiments Headquarters. Today, we're going to do a simple science experiment with a balloon. I'm going to teach you how to blow it up without using your mouth. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so for this experiment, you're going to need a balloon, an empty plastic bottle, some vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar, but you can use any different type. Some baking soda and some funnels, preferably two. So for the first step, what you're going to do is you're going to take a funnel, you're going to put it into your plastic bottle, and you're going to pour about a third a cup of vinegar into the bottom. Okay, so now that you're done with that, you're going to set, either set this funnel or side, or clean it thoroughly before you do the next step. And for step two, you're going to take your balloon and you're going to put it to the end of a funnel. And you're going to put one teaspoon of baking soda into the bottom of the balloon. And you're going to want to make sure that the baking soda travels to the bottom of that balloon. So you can kind of look in the funnel here and make sure that the baking soda has gone all the way down to the bottom of that balloon. And once it's done that, then you can remove the balloon from the funnel. And this step is pretty important. What you're going to want to do is take the balloon and carefully place it on the mouth of the bottle. Now during this step, you're going to want to be sure that none of the baking soda gets down to the bottom of the bottle yet. You're also going to want to make sure that the balloon is secure on the mouth of that bottle. Once it is, you're going to slowly lift the balloon, pouring the baking soda into the bottom of the bottle, and you'll see that the balloon blows up. So do you know what caused the balloon to blow up? Leave a comment below to submit your guess. Then be sure to visit coolscienceexperimentsheadquarters.com to find out the answer, print out detailed instructions about this science experiment, as well as many more that you can do at home too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.